Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a video to answer more questions about the May 2019 update that is now general availability. That means pretty much everybody that checks for it will have it. So where do you check for it if you want to know at least if it's available and don't worry because if you check for it you're not installing it. You're just going to know if you actually have it. So you go to your settings in your settings you go to update and security and here you click check for updates it will show you after a while a update that is the May uh, 2019 update in a separate section and of course it's going to have the download and install button but if you don't click download and install you're not going to have it don't worry it's just telling you, yeah, it's available for your computer. What does that mean? And that's a lot, a lot of people ask me as a question. It means that if you see it here, chances are your PC is pretty safe to upgrade to it because the telemetry, the information Microsoft knows about your PC, it knows that, yeah, for that type of configuration and software and hardware, it normally is okay. So that's the first thing that you need to, uh, to check out. Um, as long as you don't click the download and install, for now it's not being pushed on you. You're not getting this update without your consent, basically. That said, at some point, if you're on the April 2018 update, remember it's going to be forced on you. Why? Because the April 2018 update expires in November of this year. So at some point they're going to force update you because they'll have to move you to a more recent version of Windows 10. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, if I move to the May 2019 update, can I just stay there? Well, you'll be able to stay there for 18 months. That means that starting now and up to the end of 2020, next year, you're not going to have any other updates for feature updates if you don't want to. 19H2 is coming this fall. You're not going to be pushed to it. If you're on the May 2019 update, it's going to do the same thing. In your Windows Update section, it will appear. You'll have 19H2, whatever name it has this fall, in a different section. And there, it's going to have that download and install button that if you don't click, it's just not going to do anything. So you'll be okay for 18 months or roughly 18 months, maybe a little less because they'll push that next version a little before, but you know, more than a year, you'll be safe of not having updates. The idea behind this is could be interesting. I mean, it could mean that maybe you could update, but you could, you know, personally update only once a year when there's the major update. That is always the first update of the year. Like next year will be 20H1. So um, that's one thing that you need to know. A lot of you have been asking me, how do I know if I'm on the May 2019 update? Well, go into your Cortana search, not Cortana, but your search um, in the Windows 10 taskbar, the little um, you know, magnifying glass. And if for some of you, it could be a search box. Simply type W-I-N-V-E-R, Winver. And here, you click on that, it will show you this panel. As of today, June 10th, 2019, the bill number, or the version number of the May 2019 update, 18362.145. I still have a lot of people that are asking me, um, how do I get the cumulative updates to install? And it all happens by itself. If you upgrade to the latest version, you're going to have a cumulative update pushed that fixes the major bugs that were left, including SD card reader problems and you know multiple hard drives and USB thumb drives and stuff. That's fixed in this uh, upgrade. So that is what's going to happen here. So 18362.145. I still get a lot of people that say, hey, I'm on 19908 or on 18912. Am I in the May 2019 update? Nope. You are actually now in the Fast Ring Insiders, and you're on the next version, which is the version for 20H1 for the year 2020, next year. 
So that is something that is going to happen at some point next year. And um, the only way you can actually go back is to reinstall using the media creation tool from Microsoft. Now, I will repost the link because I still get a lot of people saying, where do I get the image? You know, what website do I go to? You know, Microsoft has updated the way that you get Windows um, in the past few, uh, since 20, the, uh, the, the, the Windows 10 um, operating system appeared in 2015. And it lets you download the latest version image, and you can create whatever um, you know device you want, a USB bootable USB drive or a DVD. And uh, so you get it here. Uh, if you want to have the image, I already have shown you, and I will not do another video because I did a video a couple of weeks back showing you where to get it. But you get it with the download tool, the media creation tool. It lets you create a DVD, a USB thumb drive. It lets you download Windows as an image, an ISO, so you can check it out here. I'll post this web page in the description below the video so that you guys have this and can download Windows 10 image. So that's pretty much what I have to say for all of you asking these questions. Uh, of general availability, once again, of Windows 10 uh, since last Friday. And that means that for most of you, it should appear there. And if it is, it technically should be pretty safe to upgrade to this latest version. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.